Hey friends, we're getting a little closer to Christmas and we're always coming up with some kind of a fun activity you could do with your kids. And we don't want it to take forever. So what could we do that's not just a bunch of drawing or painting or coloring? And this is great because it's a Christmas tree on your pencil. And so if you want to supply a glittery pencil or something, that would be totally up to you. But honestly, they could decorate their own, their own pencil if you'd like for them to do that. And it could be something that they would make for a shut-in and take over to them to say Merry Christmas and I'm thinking about you. So let me show you how to make this cute Christmas tree. First of all, you want to fold a piece of construction paper in uh, long ways in the center. Now, we actually used copy paper that was green, and you can see it's a darker green, and I kind of like that better than the construction paper. But you make the choice whatever you would like for it to be. So I, I think it's pretty easy just to start here at the bottom and just kind of curve up and back and up. <laughs> So you get the idea. Working in just ever so slightly. And if it doesn't work out the first time, just know that you can, you can start again like right there. I'll have to cut it again. And maybe one more little branch. And then up to the top. Now, if you want to provide for your kiddos a pattern that when they cut it in, when they fold it in half, you can give them a pattern to be able to do these cut lines and it would be maybe more uniform, but really dare them to, to try to see if they can just figure it out. It's really, really a lot of fun, but I understand if you think you need something to trace. So that gives you the idea there. Now, the next thing is that you want to fan fold it or accordion fold it. So you're gonna go back and forth, start at the bottom and then you're gonna go back that way and then flip it back this way. The idea is, is that you're gonna keep this the same width all the way up as you go. So that way it stays uniform and straight. So I'm gonna keep the center line going straight up and I really wanna make it really bigger and hurry it, but it's not a good idea to hurry. All right, very good. Christmas tree crafts are great. I usually say, whenever we're uh, teaching at the church, let's leave Santa Claus and all of his friends and the stockings <laughs> and all of that stuff at home because we, we see that everywhere and all the time. But really Christmas is about Jesus, God's gift to us that we could have forgiveness of our sins and his resurrection is so that we could have eternal life and life forever. So let's keep that as the focus in what we're doing. Okay, so there you see it. I have fan folded or accordion fold all the way through. Now is the hard part. You need a good pair of, um, of hole punch and you go right in the center and you'll have to just push all the way through it. And it might be that your kids can't do it because you really have to push hard. It might be a little harder to do on the, um, on the construction paper too. So copy paper was a good choice in this. So when you pull it apart, you see all the holes are there. So keep it all pushed together and then you can thread your pencil through it. Oops, try that again. Through the hole. Oh, let me see. I'm gonna have to open it up a little bit. Yeah. And then as you thread it through there, it'll make it, it'll be tight on the pencil, which is good because when you spread it out, it won't just fall or, or wrinkle back up into the fan fold or the accordion fold. So just keep adding it on a little bit at a time. And before you know it, you're at the top. All right. And here's the last one. Good. So now I'm going to pull it down where we can see all the different places. Each branch. 
good. All right. So now all that's left is decorating. So we want to do that. And on this, we chose just to use some um, stickers. And the star stickers are great. If you have a larger star sticker that you can add to the top, that's nice. So I'm gonna pull this down just a little bit so that way the star adheres to the pencil and to the paper and holds that in place a little bit better. Then you can simply add the colorful stars on all of the places so that way that way the kids can decorate it however they wish. And you know what? It's pretty fun. I think they're gonna like this a lot. Well, you can decorate yours however you want, and I think your kids are gonna enjoy this as well. So let them make a Christmas tree on their pencil and have a Merry Christmas. Hey, we've got a really great challenge for you in our Kids Ministry Mojo book. And so it's 31 days to finding your Kids Ministry Mojo. You just read a little section each day and answer the questions and kind of evaluate where you are and how are you doing. And this would be a great way to start a new year and set some new goals and see if you can keep going with great enthusiasm and reaching children. I want you to champion kids ministry. Let your teachers know to sign up at Mr. Mark's classroom and get a free book and we can be on this journey together. I'd love to see your pictures of all the things that you're doing at your church. If you'll wanna post them on my Facebook page, Mr. Mark's classroom.